What a Cartoon, later known as the What a Cartoon Show and the Cartoon Cartoon Show is an American animation showcase series created by Fred Seibert for Cartoon Network. The shorts were produced by Hanna-Barbera. By the end of the run, a Cartoon Network Studios production tag was added to some shorts to signal they were original to the network. The project consisted of 48 short cartoons, intended to return creative power to animators and artists, by recreating the atmospheres that spawned the iconic cartoon characters of the mid-20th century. Each of the shorts mirrored the structure of a theatrical cartoon, with each film being based on an original storyboard drawn and written by its artist or creator. The series first aired on February 20, 1995, and the shorts were promoted as world premiere tunes. During the original run of the shorts, the series was retitled to The Water Cartoon show and later to the Cartoon Cartoon Show until the final shorts aired on August 23, 2002. The project served as the launching point for multiple Cartoon Network animated television series, including The Powerpuff Girls, Dexter's Laboratory, Johnny Bravo, Cow and Chicken, Courage the Cowardly Dog, Mike, Lou and Og, Sheep in the Big City, Whatever Happened to Robot Jones, Codename, Kids Next Door, Grim and Evil and Megas XLR. The series is influential for birthing a slew of original Cartoon Network hits and helping to revive television animation in the 1990s. Once it had several original shorts, those became the first Cartoon Cartoons a collective term for retro Cartoon Network original series. From 2005 to 2008, the Cartoon Cartoon Show was revived as a block for reruns of older Cartoon Cartoons that had been phased out by the network. History Topic origins and production Fred Seibert became president of Hanna-Barbera Cartoons, Inc. in 1992 and helped guide the struggling animation studio into its greatest output in years with shows like Two Stupid Dogs and Swat Cats, The Radical Squadron. Seibert wanted the studio to produce short cartoons, in the vein of the golden age of American animation. Although a project consisting of 48 shorts would cost twice as much as a normal series, Seibert's pitch to Cartoon Network involved promising 48 chances to succeed or fail, opened up possibilities for new original programming, and offered several new shorts to the thousands already present in the Turner Entertainment Library. According to Seibert, quality did not matter much to the cable operators distributing the struggling network, they were more interested in promising new programs, with Turner Broadcasting CEO Ted Turner and Seibert's boss Scott Sasser on board, the studio fanned out across the world to spread the word that the studio was in an unprecedented phase, in which animators had a better idea idea what cartoons should be than executives and Hanna-Barbera supported them. The company started taking pictures in earnest in 1993 and received over 5,000 pictures for the 48 slots. The diversity in the filmmakers included those from various nationalities, race, and gender. 
Seibert later described his hope for an idealistic diversity as the wider the palette of creative influences, the wider and bigger the audiences. Seibert's idea for the project was influenced heavily by Looney Tunes. Hanna-Barbera founders and chairman William Hanna and Joseph Barbera, as well as veteran animator Frizz Freleng, taught Seibert how the shorts of the golden age of American animation were produced. John Crickfalusi, creator of the Ren and Stimpy show, became a teacher of sorts for Seibert and was the first person Seibert called while looking for new talent for the project, as was the custom in live action film and television. The company did not pay each creator for the storyboard submitted and pitched. For the first time in the studio's history, individual creators could retain their rights, and earn royalties on their creations. While most in the industry scoffed at the idea, encouragement, according to Seibert, came from the cartoonists who flocked to Hanna-Barbera with original ideas. Format The format for what a cartoon, was ambitious, as no one had ever attempted anything similar in the television animation era. The shorts produced would be a product of the original cartoonist's vision, with no executive intervention, for example, even the music would be an individually crafted score. Each Looney Tunes length, seven minutes short, would debut by itself as a standalone cartoon on Cartoon Network. Seibert explained the project's goal in a 2007 blog post: "We didn't care what the sitcom trends were, what Nickelodeon was doing, what the sales departments wanted. We wanted cartoons." Topic. Crew The Water Cartoon – staff had creators from Europe Bruno Bozzetto, Asia Achiuso, and the United States Jerry Reynolds and colleague Seth MacFarlane. The crew also contained young series first-timers like Gendy Tartakovsky, Craig McCracken, Rob Renzetti, Butch Hartman, and John R. Dilworth, but veterans as well like Don Jerwich, Jerry Eisenberg, and Ralph Bakshi. In addition to the veterans, William Hanna and Joseph Barbera each produced two shorts each for What a Cartoon. Many of the key crew members from previous Hanna-Barbera series Two Stupid Dogs joined the team of What a Cartoon, as well, many of its crew members later went on to write and direct for Dexter's Laboratory, Johnny Bravo, Cow and Chicken, I Am Weasel, and The Powerpuff Girls, including those named above. The Kitchen Casanova director John McIntyre is particularly known for directing several Dexter episodes. Ralph Bakshi's two shorts Malcolm and Melvin and Babe. He Calls Me were considered too risque to be shown. It has been rumored that John Crickfalusi was slated to direct several new What a Cartoon! shorts of his own, produced by his production company, Spumco. However, both Yogi Bear-influenced cartoons were commissioned separately by Seibert, and instead premiered as their own, Boo Boo Runs Wild and A Day in the Life of Ranger Smith both premiered in 1999, inspired by Seibert's interest in the modern rock posters of Frank Kozik, each of the show's creators worked with the internal Hanna-Barbera creative core creative 
Creative Director Bill Burnett, and Senior Art Director Jesse Stagg to craft a series of high-quality, limited-edition, fluorescent art posters. The Corps launched a prolonged guerrilla mailing campaign, targeting animation heavyweights and critics leading up to the launch of world premiere tunes. The first poster campaign of its kind introduced the world to the groundbreaking new stable of characters. Topic broadcast The first cartoon from the What a Cartoon! project broadcast in its entirety was the Powerpuff Girls in Meet Fuzzy Lumpkins, which made its world premiere on Monday, February 20, 1995, during a television special called The World Premiere Tune in termed President's Day Nightmare by its producers, Williams Street. The special was hosted by Space Ghost and the cast of Space Ghost Coast to Coast, and featured comic interviews and a mock contest with the creators of the various cartoons. The tune-in was simulcast on Cartoon Network, TBS Superstation, and TNT. To promote the shorts, Cartoon Network's marketing department came up with the concept of Dive in Theatre in 1995 to showcase the 48 cartoon shorts. The cartoons were shown at water parks and large municipal swimming pools, treating kids and their parents to exclusive poolside screenings on 9 feet by 12 feet movie screens, beginning February 26, 1995, each What a Cartoon! short began to premiere on Sunday nights, promoted as world premiere tunes, every week after the premiere, Cartoon Network showcased a different world premiere tunes made by a different artist. After an acclamation of cartoons, the network packaged the shorts as a half-hour show titled World Premiere Tunes, The Next Generation, featuring reruns of the original shorts but also new premieres. Eventually, all of the cartoons were compiled into one program which was used the name World Premiere Tunes, the show until the summer of 1996 when it started bearing the name of the original project, the What a Cartoon! show. The show's initial premieres for each short preceded Cartoon Network's Sunday night movie block, Mr. Spim's Cartoon Theater. The shorts continued to air on Sundays until 1997, when the network moved the shorts to Wednesdays at 9 p.m. Following the premiere of Johnny Bravo, Cow and Chicken and I Am Weasel as full series in July 1997, the series shifted to Thursday nights, where it remained, the Water cartoon. Show continued airing new episodes on Thursdays until November 28, 1997, when the final short of the 48 contracted during Seibert's era aired. In 1998, Cartoon Network debuted two new short pilots and advertised them as world premiere tunes Mike, Lou, and Og, and Kenny and the Chimp both of which were produced by outside studios. The two pilots were later compiled into the Cartoon Cartoon Show, while both shorts eventually garnered their own series, Mike, Lou and Og in 1999 and codename, Kids Next Door in 2002. Two pilots entitled King Crab, Space Crustacean and Thrillseeker, respectively dated 1999 and 2000, was also retconned into the Cartoon Cartoon Show anthology. On June 9, 2000, the What a Cartoon! show was relaunched as the Cartoon Cartoon Show. In this new format, it aired reruns and new episodes of the full series Cartoon Cartoons, as well as new Cartoon Cartoon Shorts and Old Whack Shorts. 
From 2000 to 2001, the pilot shorts appearing on the network's viewers poll that lost to the grim adventures of Billy and Mandy and codename, Kids Next Door except for whatever happened to Robot Jones, were added to the anthology. The show continued to air until October 9, 2003, when it was temporarily dropped from the network's schedule. On September 12, 2005, the Cartoon Cartoon Show was revived, this time as a half-hour program featuring segments of older cartoon cartoons that were no longer shown regularly on the network, such as Cow and Chicken, I Am Weasel, and others. Some cartoon cartoons were moved exclusively to this show and the top five, though there was also some overlap with shows that already had regular half-hour slots outside the series. In 2006, the programming was expanded to also include non-cartoon cartoons that were regularly shown on the network, such as Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends, Camp Laszlo, My Gym Partners A Monkey, and Squirrel Boy. The show ended on June 1, 2008. In 2007, reruns of What a Cartoon played briefly on Cartoon Network's retro animation sister channel, Boomerang. Topic Legacy What a Cartoon is the first short cartoon incubator created by Fred Seibert. Starting with Wack, and continuing throughout his cartoon career, his Frederator Studios has persisted in the tradition of surfacing new talent, characters, and series with several cartoon shorts incubators, including as of 2016, What a Cartoon! Cartoon Network, 1995, Nickelodeon, Nicktoons own Oh Yeah! Cartoons 1998, Nicktoons Film Festival 2004, Random. Cartoons 2008, The Meth Minute 39 Channel Frederator, 2008, The Cartoon Institute Cartoon Network, 2009, Unfinished, Too Cool. Cartoons Cartoon Hangover, 2012, and Go! Cartoons Cartoon Hangover, 2016. These laboratories have spun off notable series like, Dexter's Laboratory, The Powerpuff Girls, Johnny Bravo, Cow and Chicken, Family Guy, Courage the Cowardly Dog, Samurai Jack, The Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy, Codename, Kids Next Door, The Fairly Odd Parents, My Life as a Teenage Robot, Night Fight, The Mighty Bee, Fanboy and Chum Chum, Adventure Time, Regular Show, Bravest Warriors, Secret Mountain Fort Awesome, Gravity Falls, Rocket Dog, Bee and Puppycat, and Uncle Grandpa. Dexter's Laboratory was the most popular short series according to a vote held in 1995 and eventually became the first spin-off of What a Cartoon, in 1996. Two more series based on shorts, Johnny Bravo and Cow and Chicken, premiered in 1997, and The Powerpuff Girls became a weekly half-hour show in 1998. Courage the Cowardly Dog spun off from the Oscar-nominated short The Chicken from Outer Space followed as the final spin-off in 1999. In addition, the Cow and Chicken short I Am Weasel eventually was also spun off into a separate series. In all, six cartoon series were ultimately launched by the What a Cartoon project, any one of which earned enough money for the company to pay for the whole program. In addition to the eventual spin-offs, The What a Cartoon, Short Larry and Steve by Seth MacFarlane featured prototypes of characters that would later go on to become MacFarlane's massively successful Family Guy. 
The Water Cartoon project and its assorted spin offs brought Cartoon Network more commercial and critical success, and the network became an animation industry leader as the 1990s drew to a close. In 2001, coinciding with the death of William Hanna, Hanna Barbera Productions merged with Warner Brothers Animation and Cartoon Network opened its own production arm, Cartoon Network Studios, in Burbank, as the rightful Hanna Barbera successor to produce original programming for the network and future projects. Two Water Cartoon, Shorts, Wind Up, Wolf and Hard Luck Duck, were the last cartoon shorts directed and produced by co-founder and co-chairman William Hanna. In addition, What a Cartoon, and spin-offs were the final original productions released by Hanna-Barbera. Creator of the What a Cartoon show, Fred Seibert, left Hanna-Barbera in late 1996 to open up his own studio, Frederator Studios, and has persistently continued in the tradition of surfacing new talent, characters, and series with similar shorts incubators, including as of 2015 Oh Yeah! Cartoons, Nickelodeon, 1998, Nicktoons Film Festival, Nickelodeon, 2004, The Meth Minute 39, Channel Frederator, 2008, Random. Cartoons, Nickelodeon, Nicktoons, 2008, Too Cool. Cartoons, Cartoon Hangover, 2012, and Go. Cartoons, Cartoon Hangover, 2016. Oh yeah. Cartoons showcased what a cartoon, alumni Butch Hartman, Rob Renzetti and launched several successful Nickelodeon series, including The Fairly Odd Parents, Chalk Zone and My Life as a Teenage Robot. Frederator Studios also launched an animation film festival, Nicktoons Film Festival from 2004 to 2009, only to have The Mighty B, greenlit as a series based off the Super Scout short, though one short from Alex Hirsch would later go on to make Gravity Falls for Disney Channel, Disney XD. The studio launched another animation showcase in 2006, titled Random. Cartoons, which in turn produced Nickelodeon's Fanboy and Chum Chum in 2009, Cartoon Network's Adventure Time in 2010, and Cartoon Hangover's Bravest Warriors in 2012. A sequel of sorts to the What a Cartoon project, a Cartoon Network project titled The Cartoon Institute, was announced in April 2008. Created by the channel executive Rob Sorcher and headed by the Powerpuff Girls creator Craig McCracken, the project was to establish a think tank and create an environment in which animators can create characters and stories, and also create new possible Cartoon Network series. However, the project was eventually scrapped as a result of the late 2000s recession and only 14 of the 39 planned were completed. Nevertheless, J. G. Quintel's regular show Short and Peter Browngart's Secret Mountain Fort Awesome were greenlit to become full series. A recurring character on the show, Uncle Grandpa, would get his own series two years later. The big cartoon database cites what a cartoon, as a venture combining classic 1940s production methods with the originality, enthusiasm and comedy of the 1990s. List of shorts Topic 
Original Show 1995 to 97 The following is a list of the original shorts produced under Fred Seibert's management for What a Cartoon, by Hanna-Barbera. The shorts are listed in the order that they originally aired. Topic the Cartoon Cartoon Show 1998 After What a Cartoon, ends its run in 1997, Fred Seibert left Hanna-Barbera in 1997 to launch Frederator Studios. In 1998, Sam Register, who was Cartoon Network's vice president at the time, took over What a Cartoon, and two years later, turned them into the Cartoon Cartoon Show. Register would later create Hi Hi Puffy Amiyumi for Cartoon Network in 2004. Two cartoon cartoon shorts were produced in 1998 and one in 1999. All cartoon cartoon shorts produced between 2000 and 2001 were entered in the Big Pick, a contest to choose the newest cartoon cartoon. The shorts premiered on Cartoon Cartoon Fridays in the weeks leading up to the Big Pick and the winner was revealed during the actual event. The winners were The Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy, in 2000, and Codename, Kids Next Door, in 2001. In 2002, eight new shorts premiered during the Cartoon Cartoon Weekend Summerfest, only this time, they weren't competing against one another. These were the final Cartoon Cartoon shorts before the brand name was dropped. One short, Lowbrow, was given its own series called Megas XLR. Topic: Cartoon Cartoon Segments From 2000 to 2003, the Cartoon Cartoon Show featured new episodes and reruns of the full series Cartoon Cartoons, interspersed with premieres and reruns of the Cartoon Cartoon pilot shorts, some of which were retconned whack shorts. From 2005 to 2008, the block was revived, this time dropping the pilot shorts. Episodes from each show were anthologized into 7 or 11 minute segments. This is a list of shows that were presented on the block. Topic: See also Oh yeah! Cartoons on Nickelodeon Random. Cartoons on Nicktoons Network Shorty McShorts Shorts, a Disney Channel original series of shorts on Disney Channel. Raw Toonage, created by Disney and originally aired as part of CBS's Saturday morning lineup. Sunday Pants the Cartoon Institute, a cancelled spiritual successor that would have continued the What a Cartoon format. Liquid Television on MTV.